Uh, days after Britney Spears' father, Jamie Spears, stepped down from managing her conservatorship, she's now calling out the rest of her family for not coming to her aid. The singer took uh, to Instagram and shared a photo of a woman swimming to help another woman who appears to be unconscious underwater. Alongside the caption was a direct message to her family who she claimed didn't help her during her long conservatorship battle. She wrote, I suggest if you have a friend that's been in a house and feels really small for four months, no car, no phone, no door for privacy, and they have to walk around 10, work around 10 hours a day, seven days a week, and give tons of blood weekly with never a day off, I strongly suggest you go pick up your friend and get them the hell out of there. Now she continued, if you like my family who says things like, sorry, you're in a conservatorship, probably thinking you're different, they can F with you. All right. Are, are you glad that Brittany is, is finally free? What are your thoughts on this story? What do you think about, you know, she's blasting her family for not helping her? I always thought her family was an ish. The mama and the sister. Like, I, 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 I just don't know. Where was the mother in all of this? I never watched any of the documentaries, but when they start talking about the girl didn't have an iPad, she didn't have a phone, it would seem to me that if a child I birthed was in this situation, I would be there with her spending time. If she's not allowed to have an iPad, I would supervise her while she's using the iPad. I would pick her up and take her shopping and pick her up and let's go and get manis and petties. It just really did seem like they threw that girl away in prison and, and, and tossed away the key. Al, what do you think about this story? Hey, listen, I think that she was in a conservatorship. Q, you have a brother that's in the exact same situation. You have to think of it like that. She wasn't in it because she didn't need it. I keep saying this over and over and over. The courts evaluated her yearly. Um, I think some of the things that she speaks about is out of her mental health issues that she have, how she interpreted things. I'm pretty sure that her mother and her father and her sister and her cousins and everybody didn't abandon her in the way that she is expressing it. I think what they did was they didn't give her what she wanted. And because like most stars, if you don't give them what they want, then all they tend to do is complain about what they don't have or what they didn't get. I mean, I, I'm just glad though. This is the part that I'm glad about. I'm glad the conservatorship is over. And then let's watch the real, the real Britney Spears take center stage. And let's see what happens. I guess it would be easy to kind of go along with everything with, you know, it's for her mental health and they're looking out for her, the best interest. But to say she's not responsible enough to kind of take care of herself and do all that, but she's okay to work hard and keep bringing them dollars in is where I think a lot of people are having a problem. Like if I'm not capable of managing my, having an iPad and having an Instagram account, but I can get up on stage and dance and perform and, and I can work and make money. Yeah. That's where I'm like, yeah, y'all lost me with that. But right. you got to remember that that was the part. Remember, that was a part of her mental health evaluation, according to the court documents, was that it was the duality. And she had multiple personalities that were identified. But it was the duality that the only time that they found that she felt safe and comfortable was doing her trade, her act, her singing. And a lot of those Disney kids, a lot of those Disney kids, those young stars, they start off OK, but they all kind of lose it somewhere in between. I mean, we're going to cover one today, but Raven Simone, all of them that get that fame at a very young age unravels, in my opinion. And the only place that they find comfort is back in front of that camera or back in front of that audience. And that's when they feel safe and sane. And that's why she was allowed to do it. I just find it convenient that these cash cows the are OK thing. to work. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you ain't cool, like, I don't know. OK, she loses it enough to work. But when she come to talk about her family, now she magically crazy. It, it, it just ain't <laughs> for me.